Hello Americans and other friends, subscribers around the world. Back again, man. Today, I am so excited about this. Man, we got the, the solar panel here, which I'll show all this, man, as we get going here. And the cables. Right now what I'm doing is getting ready. I just wanted to show the unboxing of this. This is a Van Power Super Power Pro 1500 solar generator. I'm so excited. excited I am. So I'm just going to do the unboxing. Um, I need to get this thing out here. This is the first day we've really had any sun since it arrived. So I want to get it out there and get it powered up so we can get this thing going. I can show you what uh, this thing's going to help around the trick bottom so much. All right, let's check her out. Woo! <laughs> you always got to show the unboxing just because it's so exciting. Miss Kitty would be right here, but she's actually behind the camera right now. But she'll be in order. Hold it, hold it, smokes. It's not a light. Anything left in the box, or yes, is that? That's the. What's that? Ah. Ooh, look at that nice little and nice, nicely, nicely packed. Arrived so safe and sound. And then this is your your wires and your components. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty hot tech word for this hoopie. I was going to ask, how much experience do you have with solar? Absolutely none. Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have... I, dude, I'm a solar panel technician. I do electric fences okay. with solar panel electric fencers. Okay. No, I have no... We've wanted it something. I actually have a solar panel that we've had since the motorhome days that I've just never done something this is something we've wanted to to do around here for a mm -hmm. long time we were going to do you know the um regular solar panels and then all the you know and then these things started showing up on the market and this is mm -hmm. something that we're like hey that might be the the uh what would you do? <laughs> yeah, I'm so back here going, i need to pull out the direction yeah, stop pulling stuff <laughs> out right. so anyways so i'm going to get this i'm going to pull out the which that might have been it didn't seem very thick, but that might be what I need right there. A quick guide. Yes, that's what I need. Okay. Always read your directions. Can also, the, that's something you know nothing about. Man, this is pretty high tech for this hillbilly. Can the hillbilly do it? Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> so we're going to get this thing. The cable's pulled out. I just wanted to show it getting unboxed on video. And then I'm going to take it out. And actually, I'm going to... You know, been all there's so much snow out there and everything, and this is in between the next snowstorm, so I'm going to put it out probably in the back of the Explorer out there. You know, as long as I can get the panel, maybe put the panel up on top or something. You know, we're going to get this charged up, and then we're going to check it out. All right, man, sorry for the dirty uh, back of the Exploder or Explorer. But what I ended up doing is, so I've got the generator right here. And all you do, man, is use the quick guide that they send you, you know, and it tells you which ones. So I hook this, these two together, which goes into the color-coded there, very simple. And then when it came to the panels, when I first unboxed it, I thought that it was just two panels. So I thought, well, hey, man, I'll just set those up here and... You know, the, the main reason that it's laid out, I normally wouldn't lay it flat like that, I don't think. You know, because it's got the little legs, got a little... And these little things that flip out, you know, to hold it. And each one's got those, so you can set those up. And I might, uh... I might actually, uh... Mess with those and set those up. I just wanted to show. So all I did, I laid it across like this because, like I said, it was longer than I thought it was, which is pretty cool. I thought it was two panels. It's actually four. So then hook these up. Ran that, you know, man, totally. That quick guide that comes with it's amazing. And then this one there. Uh, you just hit this DC for three. I can't really see the screen. For three seconds, and that gets it... Uh, charging now see so now I got enough to get the power on I don't know if you can see that and then there's a way which I'll go through because you can brighten up the screen you know which obviously we're out here in the sun and I'm looking at that man that is nice okay we're finally back 
to the van power generator or a solar solar generator generator yes. power box whatever you want to call it. power pro super power pro the one thing that uh, I don't know if I should try. move the camera is when you look at this bank make sure you can see again when you look at this bank of uh, outlet deals that we got you know everything plugged into right now when you first look at it you think bam er, bam 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 and you think what in the heck are they doing man because two are faced this way this one's faced up this down sideways but as you can see you can plug in multiple multiple things it doesn't matter which configuration your yeah. plug-in is, you'll be able to plug all six in at the same time. And that makes it just uh, amazing. Man. Sure I, wish the, the, I wish that the, the adapters were like that. Yeah. Alright. So let's turn this bad boy on because we're going to give it a test. There. Okay, we are currently at 98%. And something, you know... Bam! The light. This, this is the hillbilly test. Yes. Something that we were talking about too that this uh, would be amazing is whether you're off grid or in these troubled times, do you uh, need to hide out? The thing about the, you know, you could hide out with a power box and have power with just your cell. Or would just her solar panels and stuff. Right, and not have the, the gas power noise of a, a gas power generator. Yeah, so yeah. that's very or if stealthy. you're uh, up camping, it's same thing. You have the access to the power without the noise of the, the gas generator. Which is to create the ambiance and not mess up your Outdoor yeah. experience. The blender. So let's okay. see. Let's so see. If it works. That was the light. Now we're going to try the okay. ninja try blender. Operated. Yep. You know how to power it on. Ice cream. Oh, we got lights. We got lights. Yeah. Mixed drinks up camp. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's thumbs up. You can hear the yep, solar there. generator has just kicked a fan on to keep it cool. Yep. We have margaritas okay, in the woods. Let's try. You want a tool? A drill. Tool. We're going to do a tool. Because, you know, for one thing, we're trying to do this, and we're hoping that the weather is going to change. Well, some of the snow, I don't know if you can see the snow in, behind us. But one of the things that we're very excited about is to have this power box out where we don't have power, you know, because we live semi off grid. And to have power out at the other end of the property. Right, while be, you're building a new chicken coop. Absolutely. Yes. Well, especially if we can do this. Yeah, that's, good. that's good. That makes me happy. Happy, happy. Happy. All right, so let's try. Do we want to try the yeah, burner? Burner. Okay. Let's just try. Come on over. Do we want to try to do it all afterwards? Um, see how many I'll get here. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that. Okay, plugged in. Is the light going? Yeah. Luke, here was it? Yeah. What? No, the ceramic takes. Yeah, it's starting to heat up. The ceramic takes a second to start heating up on these. I guess smell the heat. Can you? And this we haven't checked any of this stuff before. Nope. So I'm just curious of uh, what it would run. Now I don't think that uh, it would run the log splitter. 
No, that might pull too much power. Pull too much power. And I don't think that, uh, that would run the compressor. Right. But, man, for... Appliances like this. Oh, yeah. And so this, is, this is a ceramic um, single burner um, stove top. So you could take this out and cook with it. Well, this is how quiet it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... That's, like I said, the ceramic takes a while for it to heat up, but you can definitely feel the heat there. And then we got the solar panels. The one thing that we didn't um, expect or uh, if there's anything that I could change on that mm -hmm. is, you know, we're, we're hillbillies, man. We live in the, you know, semi-off grid, all that. And as if, if we did not have internet access, there is no manual. There's no manual. Um, so right when we got it, we um, put the panels up because this, of course, came dead. Put the panels up, got it plugged in, was able to figure that out without a manual, and left it for two hours because it has a two-hour charge time. Um, came back and realized that it wasn't charging. Um, what you have to do is download an app onto your phone on Wi-Fi, which we don't have Wi-Fi, so it was very difficult for us to, yeah. to do it because you have to connect this device and your phone to the same Wi-Fi. Um, and our internet is our phone. So um, that was a, a process for us to get that set up. But once you get this hooked to Wi-Fi in your app, you have to charge this to, to five, no, first you have to charge this to 5% and then get the app and then get it all set up with your phone. But it, now that it's set up, we don't need the access to yeah, the internet. Unless, nice. unless you had a system where you wanted to check and change things, you could use your app to do that. But the way we would use something like this, we would not use our cell phone because we wouldn't be in service. Right. If you, if you get on um, other people that have done the reviews. the reviews and stuff on this, mm -hmm. and then they're very techy. We're not techy. No. Man. The you first know, experience yeah, with solar so, yeah. banking and, and charging. Absolutely. Other than the little right. tiny things, right. you know. So, uh, and for us, it's going to be great. You, mm -hmm. It's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. But what you can get on your phone and like she said and change things right so i'm just like well shoot man i don't know exactly what um you know if i can do that all from here or not right we just kind of gotta um, play with play it. with it work yeah. with it yeah play so with it so you know that's the the only thing um that's all the only bad thing i have yeah. you know yeah. and that's really not a bad thing no it's just that we're not techie and if you know, just say if we were, you know, living in the backwoods like we do, mm -hmm. and we did not have internet or anything, and we just picked up this unit and, took and it home. Headed, headed, headed home. We wouldn't have been able to use yeah, it. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to right. use it. So that right. was And to, to get it charged to the 5%, to be able to do the phone app, you plug it into the wall. So if you don't have power, and you take this unit home, not knowing you need internet and a 110 plug-in yep. to charge it up, to get it to that 5%, to use your app to set it up, that would have been a difficult situation. But other than that, now mm -hmm. that it's set up, right? you know, and, it, and if you knew all that, you know, you could, right. you could do that downtown or right. do that down whatever. Stop at grandma's house you know, and but, get it set up. Dude, I absolutely uh, yeah. love it. I think yep. it's going to come in uh, handy as mm -hmm. all get up. I wish that there wasn't the snow. We'd take you out and uh, do some work with it. Yeah, show more than mm -hmm. you know. This is the first nice day that we've had uh, in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks or something since we got this thing. Yeah. So uh, a couple winter storms roll through. I don't know what you know. What else to say about it, man? The all this output here for the hundred watt, hundred watt, yeah, two hundred watt. Yeah, we've got USB ports here and um, these four. Here. Oh, no, these are C. Is that what you call that? Type C. Type C. Yeah, Type C. Type C for like a phone charger. Yeah, 136 watt. I don't know what those are for. 
Yeah, so that's uh And it comes with we we showed the cords and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah on the, the first clip, yeah, yeah, it comes with No, I don't know if we did. Let me go grab those. No, no I got them right here. Oh, you got them right here. Okay. So you got in, a cigarette lighter here too. Yeah, you got a cigarette lighter right here on the side and a um a, a, a female side of the cigarette lighter. And then in the cord system um you have the male version and it says that it says uh, that it's that it will um, charge your car but I'm not sure if that means that you can jump start the battery with your car with this or if your car running will charge the unit so that's something that we need to oh, kind of check out yeah because I'd be handy mm -hmm. yeah, I'll just yep, and then you get the basic like your, your um, uh, computer tower cord and that's what you plug in to charge just, it with your just 110 heat, yeah, just charge mm -hmm. and then you have the two adapters with the C to go in here with a USB on the other side mm -hmm. that's yeah. oh yeah that's definitely so that's what those are for you got two of those yep oh, got two yeah. of those let me put those in that little net right there I thought that there oh the other there, cord was oh, to hook a cord, up that. yeah the other cord's just right. to um, hook up solar panels right. you know and then uh, I, I think I showed that Hooking up solar, right. solar panels to, to that. And just talking about what it'll run and what it won't. Um, so it doesn't do like 220, um, but yeah, that's very handy. <laughs> that's with very wheels. handy. The wheels are kind of smaller. They're more of a concrete sidewalk yeah. wheel than yeah, a, so a here, four buy in. Yeah. yeah, we would have to put it on like a hand truck or yeah. put it in a wheelbarrow or something. But, but it's um, not that, you know, 50 pounds or something. But. Um, our son was thinking that if you had two of the units, that you could run a 220. Oh yeah. Because you just oh, put yeah. the one, um, or yeah, together. together, and then be able to like run your well pump, your pump, or, or something, something like, like that. that. If and if need be, mm -hmm. um, you know, which I would have to run something down to pump water. Right. You know, but I do have a little 110 Ten pump. pump. You know, which wouldn't obviously not be enough. Right. To run water a or whatever, but a little like 110 yeah. pump to, for drink water yeah. and uh, yeah. just access to water. So great. we'll keep using this and keep sharing it with everybody out there watching the videos. Um, we want to see how long the the how long you can use it, how long the charge lasts in here, and um, the charging with the solar panels. I'm, I'm really happy that it did the drill. drill. The, I'm happy yeah, it did yeah, the blender yeah. and and the cook plate. Yep, yeah. To absolutely. be able to use that hot plate is going to be really nice too. Yep. That, uh, Picnics. Yeah. yeah. Picnics. Just whatever. Yeah. Anytime we go Pick anywhere, coffee. he'll be going uh, Yeah. Going along with us. And yeah. then me and Cara, like I said, once the snow is, you know, we've got two feet of snow out here. Um, we plan on doing a lot of building, a lot mm -hmm. of everything down on the other end where mm -hmm. we don't have no power so yeah. it's going to be dang handy yeah. Put to the test yep. yes so thank you for the opportunity man yeah. i hope that uh it's definitely a thumbs up man yeah. hillbilly thumbs yeah. up and you guys want to check it out follow the links down below yep van power van powers super power pro and this one is the 1500 series it doesn't yep. say that on the face here but this is the 1500 series and man i am just uh it's a fancier than anything this is really ever messed with. Yep. That's pretty dang cool. Very so thank good. you for the opportunity. And good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See, See ya. ya.